hello everyone so today i am going to discuss about the what are the data types in python so the data is stored in the memory can be many types for example the student rolls numbers in store the numeric values and his or her address is stored as alphanumeric characters python has various standards data types that are used to alphanumeric characters and also it is used to the different types of operations possible on them and the storage methods for each of them so they are having the basic data types that is the integer float boolean strings the integer is the whole number and positive or negative float number is floating point numbers boolean number is object boolean types may have the one or two values true or false and strings in python are identified as a contiguous set of character represent the question marks the next one is that the list what is a list so the list is a general purpose of wide list to data structure and this collection which is order and changeable to allow us duplicate members so this is to use to list or declare a first and then its square square bracket which is separate values with commas so we can construct and create the list in many ways the next point is that is a input operations and the use the print functions to output data on the screen sometimes we might want to take input from the user and we can do so by using the input functions python takes all the input as a string input by the default the use of the input operator commonly known as extraction operator and this takes place with the standard input stream scene furthermore the treatment of data takes place as a stream of characters by scene moreover the flow of these characters takes place from scene the program through the input operator input operations using the input function this provide the built in function input to perform input operations and this input can be used the some messages or without messages so this is the use the scene function and extraction operator is for the input operations next one it is to the comment so next one is the comments in python the comments in python are identifier which is the hash symbols and this extend to the end of the line so hash characters in strings are not considered comments however there are the three ways to write a comment as a separate line beside the corresponding statement and the multi line comment block so there are multiple uses of writing comments in python some significance uses to include that is to increase the reliability explaining the code to others understanding the code easily after a long term including the resources and they're using the existing code so this comment is which is used for the extend the end of the line and we can use to the separation of line as per the corresponding statement of code and multiple use of writing comments in a python so these are the number of features which having the include there the including the resources using the existing codes understanding the code easily and the explaining the code to other which is to increase the reliability the next one that is there are having multiple reserved keywords that is in python that is a list of all these reserved words in python the false none true and as asserts breaks class continue def del elif else except finally for form global if import in is lambda non local not or pass raise return try while with and else these are the reserved keywords are the used so next one uh, that is a python identification and it will be the explaining in the next video lectures i hope you like this videos thank you